2.4b, least common multiple using mental math. The least common multiple is simply the smallest multiple of several numbers. If we looked at some of the multiples of 15, we would know 15 times 1 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 3 is 45, times 4 is 60, times 5 is 75, times 6 is 90, times 7 is 105, and times 8 is 120. We could keep multiplying by numbers and get more and more multiples. If we did the multiples of 20, 20 times 1 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, times 3 is 60, times 4 is 80, times 5 is 100, times 6 is 120, times 7 is 140 and these would also continue. If we look at what multiples are common to both 15 and 20, we could find the common multiples of these two numbers. We see that they both have 60 in common, and they both also have 120 in common. So, the first two common multiples of 15 and 20 are 60, and 120. They would have more multiples in common had we continued finding multiples. But we're looking for the least common multiple. The least common multiple, remember, is the smallest multiple. And the smallest multiple between 15 and 20 is 60. Now, we're going to learn how to do this using mental math, as writing out a list of multiples would be very time consuming. So using mental math, we are going to test multiples of the big number. Basically, we're going to be asking, can it be divided by the small number? In this way, we only have to find the multiples of one of the numbers instead of all of them. We'll see this in example one. Example one asks us to find the least common multiple of 12 and 9. First, we find the larger number, which would be 12. Then, we ask ourselves, which of its multiples can be divided by the smaller number? Let's start with the first multiple, which would be 12 times 1, which is 12. 12 divided by 9 does not give us an even divisibility, so that is not the least common multiple. 12 times 2, or the second multiple of 12, divided by 9 also does not work. The third multiple, or 12 times 3, is 36. 36 divided by 9 equals 4, which is a yes. This means that 36 is our least common multiple. As you can see, we saved time because we didn't find all the multiples of 9, where we would have done 9 times 1 is 9, times 2 is 18, times 3 is 27, and times 4 is 36. I saved myself from writing this list by simply looking at only the multiples of the larger number. Let's try this again in example 2. Example 2 asks us to find the least common multiple of 20 and 4. Let's start with 20 times 1, which is 20. 
This is the first multiple of the larger of the numbers. We see if it divides by the smaller. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So yes, it does divide. As you can see, we did not have to look for any more multiples as the first multiple of 20 divides evenly by the smaller number. This means that our least common multiple is 20. Remember, when finding least common multiples, you are looking for the multiple that both numbers have in common, and you can do this more easily using mental math by testing the multiples of the larger number. You're asking yourself, can it be divided by the smaller number?